Um, so my name is Mike, and I'm a wedding and brand photographer based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and recently, about a couple days ago, um, I posted in the Dubsado Facebook community um, kind of my appreciation of the software and how it all works because I was able to take in four different photography leads um, with three different lead capture forms for a wedding, um, a standard portrait, and a brand photography session. And the beauty of the system that I was really raving about was that I got all their information for these specific workflows, we'll call it services. Um, I captured their contact information. I got, um, you know, information about what they were looking for. You know, I had them fill out a series of questionnaires um, that I generate. Um, and then after they completed that, they scheduled their consultation um, with me using, I use Acuity um, scheduling. And... They were able to do all of this. I got all this information, and I didn't have to do anything. All I had to do was just watch, you know, the email chain going through on my phone, saying, yep, someone said this, someone said this, someone did this step, someone did that step. And I'm going, great. I, I'm i sitting here, you know, hanging out with friends, you know, drinking a beer, and I'm capturing leads and providing good customer service and all that jazz. Um, so I posted, again, that uh my appreciation on Dubsado's, you know, Facebook community, and a lot of people were going, holy smokes, this is really cool, and someone asked, you know, how are you embedding these in your website, you know, how are you doing the multiple, like, lead capture forms, and I did a very quick, you know, breakdown of what the actual workflow looks like on a high level, and everyone was just like, holy smokes, I didn't know you could do this, this is great, um, so I then asked, well, do you guys want me to do a quick video and post some screenshots of what my workflows look like, and how the whole thing works, and tremendous, tremendous response saying, yes, please. So this is actually my first instructional video, so if I do something wrong, please forgive me. Um, but yeah, so we're going to run through this, and this is the first time I'm using this software. I think it's called Monosnap. Sorry, I have a spare monitor on that, so I'm looking for for my notes to make sure I go through this process correctly. But yeah, so I, again, I apologize. This is a little bit of a buggy thing. Um, so I'm going to minimize my face, and... Oh, no, I actually can't. Darn it. Okay, be right back. And I'm back. Okay, figure that out. That, yeah. Okay, so here's my, the form section of what is um, Dubsado for my account. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff. Um, I have an engineering background, so I'm very detail-oriented, very specific. Um, but what I'm going to be looking at or showing you is really kind of, you know, the questionnaires here. Um, the lead capture, and I'll get into the workflow area as well. Um, right, so actually, I'll move this sort of workflow, and right, got that. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first thing I'm going to do is show you how my website is set up so you see where these are being applied so you have a better idea of how they're actually used. Um, I think that's a better way of demonstrating this. So we're going to go to my website real quick, homepage, pretty pictures, all that good stuff. Um, and here's the first uh, contact form, which is my generic services. Um, and it's at the bottom of my web page, and it says, hey, you know, contact me, give me your basic information. I've got, you know, first name, last name, email, phone, you know, what's your preferred method of communication. Personally, I like interpretive dance, even though I'm terrible at it. Um, but the key button here is which service are you interested in? Bang. Okay, we've got wedding, engagement, portraits, headshots, other. Depending on what you select here, it's going to trigger a specific workflow. That's the key part of this uh, lead capture. And I'll show off that button, how that works um, later. But this is what allows me to have specific questionnaires and specific proposals and workflows for my clients. So they're not just getting a generic, oh, here's, you know, a random, like, photography questionnaire when you're actually only interested in, you know, weddings or portraits. You don't want to see the opposite or the other of that. So this is key here, right? Um, so this is the generic one. Now, say they do get to the point where they're looking at very specific services, right? So we get to my services page. Pardon me. Scroll down. Okay, so we've got weddings, portraits, and brand. We'll click on wet weddings as an example. Here's the top level, and here's the now lead capture form that I've embedded. Notice this one is different than the other one. This is specific to weddings. Do you have a wedding date? Again, which service are you interested in? Wedding, engagement, both. Okay, there are clients that are looking just for an engagement photographer or oh, just a wedding photographer or both. And this will actually trigger different workflows that I have set up in my system. You know, I capture a little bit more, you know, check these desired deliverables, digital, album, prints, 
all that great stuff. Um, and then I try and crack a joke every time I get, you know, what Jay-Z called his girlfriend before they got married. Fiance. Yeah. I'm lame. But anyways. Um, right. So we'll go back. So again, that was weddings. We go to portraits. Again, it's a unique lead capture form. I'm asking what kind of session are they interested in? Senior, family, headshot, creative, other. You know, please describe this kind of stuff, right? And this is, again, going to trigger a workflow that is specific to portrait photography. Um, I could break this down further into that specific workflow button, like on the other two, um, but then my back end would just explode. Um, and typically for a generic portrait, you know, these all fall under the same, you know, type of, you know, proposal, contract, and all that stuff. So that's why I keep it as just a checkbox versus a specific workflow. Um, and then finally, again, we're going to go to personal brand. Um, and you'll see first name, last name, email, phone, what's your brand name, what's your Instagram, Facebook handle, because if you're doing a brand and you're an influencer, if you don't have that, anyways, that allows me to get some more information about them, right? And say, tell me about your brand, you know, if you're your part, favorite Harry Potter character. Sorry, I talk very, very quickly. Um, so if I ever need to just like, well, you can't tell me this. So I will try and slow it down. Um, but again, it's a specific workflow just for brand photography based clients, right? Okay, so uh, I have to, uh, oh, no, that's right. Okay, sorry, note to myself. Okay, so we've got all that and that's where it is on my website, how it all applies. You know, on my other pages, you know, again, you can go anywhere. It'll either have the generic or it'll have these specific workflow buttons, okay? So that's on the website. So now we're in Dubsado and we're gonna look at the workflows themselves, right? So, you know what? Let's look at the forms first. I lied. Go to forms. Okay. So let's start with the generic lead capture form, right? We're going to click here. Okay. This is the thing that now pops up on my website. First name, last name, all this good stuff. So let's go to edit so you can see how that drop down workflow spin button works. This is the key right here, okay? It's this button here when you're building it, right? Workflow. We're going to click on it, see the edit. Okay. Which service are you interested in? Wedding, engage portions, right? This drop down apply a workflow, right? I'm saying apply my lead capture form or my lead, lead capture methodology for weddings, right? And I'm doing that for each of these, right? Headshots have a separate one, generic, just portraits have a separate one, but this is what's allowing me to have specific workflows, proposals, questionnaires for each of these services so that my clients potential or not, feel like I'm giving them a very specific one-on-one -on -one interactive, you know, customer experience. And I'm not just throwing random stuff at them. No, they're getting targeted information that makes them feel like I'm paying attention, which is the key thing for, you know, good business. So that's the generic one. So let's say, um, don't save. Okay. Now again, let's go to the ones where they already are tailored down, like the wedding one, right? We'll edit this. Um, again, what service are you interested in? It's that workflow one. I got my wedding lead capture. I've got my engagement lead capture. And for both, me personally, I do wedding lead capture as a whole, and then I just tack on another workflow that's just for engagements. Um, I'll explain my workflows a little bit later, so why they're broken out like this. Hmm, pardon me. But again, it's doing the same thing, just having targeted workflow, so I provide a unique customer experience that's tailored to what they're looking for. You know, so that was portrait, I'm sorry, that was wet. So now we look at portraits. You know, again, this one was a generic one because they all fall under the same umbrella for the most part. You know, personal brand, same deal. There's nothing to specify because they're already looking at a specific workflow, right? So we've gotten through that lead capture stuff, right? That's the first thing that they're going to see, right? Now, based on the answers they pick out of that, we're going to go to my workflows and how they're set up. And let's look at the generic one. Uh, well... No, let's go for portrait, okay? Here's my portrait lead capture workflow. And what I've done is I've built these into bite-sized chunks for me um, because it allows me to have modularity in how I set up my workflows. So I have it broken down into lead capture, actual session workflow, and then the editing workflow. Um, I also have workflows for follow-up if someone's gone cold, radio silent. Um, and I also have work flow for nope that's all i got never mind okay so again we're going to go through you know my portrait lead capture form right okay so first thing they do this is 
after the workflow has already started, they've already submitted that initial lead capture form, which now goes to this workflow, I have send an inquiry questionnaire. That's specific to portraits, right? And I've built a specific portrait inquiry questionnaire. The language here is a canned email. It's specific to them, right? Again, tailored experience, providing the best customer service to your clients, right? Next step, you know, questionnaire complete. That's awesome. You know, um, and this is where they, I tell them, you know, hey, you've completed this extra questionnaire that gives me a little more detail. Now let's schedule your session. And I use Acuity um, and I just, you know, set a hyperlink right in there. And what that looks like uh, for me, here's Acuity, the, the back end side of it. Um, and I have different appointment types, right? So consultation, reveal session if I do IPS, um, which if you're not familiar with the photography industry, it's called in-person sales. Um, and, and then I have, these are private links for, you know, the different sessions so that my clients can schedule those. But, you know, this is the only public one is the consultation, right? And it's just, you know, direct link. They get to look at it. Um, I'll show you guys what that looks like for the client. Um, there's going to pull this up, say, you know, I want to talk to Mike, you know, on the 21st, February at five o'clock. Continue. They put in their information and then they get a confirmation and it's booked, right? And the beauty of all this is that, like I said, I didn't have to press any buttons. This is automatically done because of the workflow I've set up. So we're going to go back here so I can see where all this comes into play. So again, you know, after the first, they've gone through the lead capture form on my website. They've now done a specific questionnaire that's relevant to the service that they've, you know, asked for, which is, you know, portraits, weddings, brand, what have you. Um, and then they've gotten a consultation scheduling uh, link so that now they feel like, oh, okay, Mike's got my information. He's, you know, sent me all this great information. Now he's providing me a way to schedule a consultation with him so I can tell my story and get more information, right? And again, all this, I didn't have to do, I don't have to do squat. That's the way I've set this up, right? It's all automated. It's just one, two, three. Um, and then, you know, I've got letter or later steps, which again are relevant here because it's specific to these, you know, workflows with portrait, wedding, headshot, you know, all that stuff. So I've got, um, da, 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 you know, build a proposal, right? I have a linked proposal that is for, um, you know, my portrait clients, my wedding clients, my engagement clients, the brand clients, they are all, you know, detail, um, it's in here. Oh, here it is. Right. So send portrait photography proposal, right? I have a proposal just for that type of client. So I'm not custom building it every single time. It's a template and they all go off the same basic thing. And one of the beauties of Dubsado that occasionally drives me nuts is, you know, everything is a snapshot essentially. So this workflow is going to go through any changes I make to the workflow after it's already applied to a client doesn't affect the client's workflow that's already been selected. Um, so the beauty in that is here, I'll show you guys. Um, if I go to a lead, um, don't look at that. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's see forms. You know, we've got, you know, I can edit this directly and it won't affect the template. Um, so again, it's just very specific to them. Nothing else. Right. Okay, cool. Uh, cancel that. Wait, no. Yeah. Go away. Go away. Go away. So again, we're, you know, we've got all this going on, right? Um, so you can see, you know, wedding inquiry leads capture and these are detailed questionnaires. So let's look at say the portrait one because we already started that one. So portrait inquiry questionnaire, right? Here's, you know, very simple, basic. Okay, so I have, tell me what you're looking for. Are there any other people part of it? Do you have a specific time frame to, you know, get your images? Um, you know, what are you planning on doing with them? Do you have a location in mind? Yeah, these are all random little things that I ask um, for the sake of me providing best, better ex client experience. Wow, I have to slow down when I talk um, to people who are asking stuff, and it helps with, you know, the interview process during the actual consultation. These are high-level questions that I find have been helpful. Um, but again, it's that specific one. So again, you know, if I say, okay, they did the wedding lead capture, right? We're going to the wedding inquiry questionnaire. What's your fiance information? Do you have a wedding date? You know, do you have a ceremony venue booked yet? You know, where is it? What's it called? Are the reception and the ceremony at the same place? You know, all this kind of stuff to help um, understand, you know, my clients better so that when they do finally get to the consultation, I have a wealth of information that I actually didn't have to work for to collect. 
um, so that I can act like I'm intrigued, I'm engaged, and I know what I'm talking about. And that's the biggest thing is paying your clients that kind of attention. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Nope. I think I covered all the bases. Um, again, I apologize. I talk very, very quickly. Um, but these are the workflows that I go through. Um, I'll do screenshots of the um, workflows themselves so that you guys can see um, kind of the, the process I put them through. It's really these top you know, four or five steps that um, really do things. Um, oh, something I did forget to mention is, you know, I've got these, you know, the personal, pro these specific proposals for those uh, services, but I also have the contracts built in there as well. So I have a separate contract for commercial, you know, brand stuff for weddings, for engagements and portraits because, you know, the nature of those jobs are slightly different. Um, and again, it's, it's avoiding a, sending across a blanket statement or a blanket application and it's giving them a tailored experience, which again, makes your clients feel like they're being paid attention to and loved, which is what we're really trying to do. Um, so yeah, that's all that. Um, like I said, I'll do screenshots of some of these so you guys can actually keep this because I know I talk fast and I went through these relatively quickly. Um, but you know, if you have any questions, you know, just leave a comment here and I'll try to explain it better or I'll do another uh, screenshot to help demonstrate something. And yeah, um, Dubsado, you guys rock. Um, please, 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 please build in that scheduling um, stuff that Acuity does. Um, especially, oh man, um, the different kinds of things that they can schedule. Um, that's what makes or breaks um, these scheduling apps from other things. Like I used to use Calendly, which you know was free, but I can only schedule one type of session. Um, and then of course they wouldn't integrate with my calendar um, for Apple. But yeah, no, if um, you guys can make it like Acuity such that it's, they can, we can have multiple types of things our clients can schedule with us. Oh man, that would be fantastic. Um, so yeah, just letting you know that that is a big ask, at least on my end. So yeah, anyways, um, thank you guys for suffering through this with me. Um, I know I've been ranting for about 20 minutes now. And um, yeah, so if you have any other questions, like I said before, uh, shoot me a, a private message, um, leave comments on this. And yeah, and by the way, if you do need a photographer and you're in the Atlanta area, Hi, uh, my website is uh, MikeGlatzerPhotos.com. I'm also on Instagram at MikeGlatzerPhotos. Um, yeah, so you know, j just come find me, and you know, I'd be happy to help you guys out with anything you need, um, even if it's just generic questions on you know Dubsado photography. I mean, you name it. I'm I like helping people. So yeah, okay, officially done rambling. <laughs> Have a good one, guys, and um, down with the Patriots. I want root for the Eagles. I'm a Giants fan, but yeah, okay, bye.